what is the black hole information paradox? Excellent question. So the black hole information loss paradox is essentially an inconsistency between quantum theory, quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, etc., and general relativity. So uh, let's take a look at let's, let's look at look at it like this. We know that black holes radiate. It's called Hawking radiation, and we find out that this happens when we combine quantum field theory and general relativity. We we kind of combine it. There's a semi-classical calculation. Uh, which gives rise to Hawking radiation. So Hawking radiation, the radiation of black holes, is thermal radiation, which means that its temperature determines, which means that the temperature of a black hole determines the average energy of these particles, these particles of radiation. And this is called black body radiation. It's completely random. The only thing we know about it is the temperature. And it entirely depends on the black hole's radius, which is proportional to the mass, and the black hole's temperature which is also proportional to the mass, etc. Okay, so that's about Hawking radiation. It is thermal radiation. It is. It depends on the properties of a black hole, which is essentially three things. The mass of the black hole, the angular momentum of the black hole, and the charge of the black hole. All right? So this Hawking river, uh, radiation essentially tells you that black holes have a temperature. They radiate away. And because they radiate this radiation, they shrink in size. They shrink in size. And because they shrink in size, their mass decreases, their uh, radius decreases, right? And the uh, temperature black hole is inversely proportional to the mass of the black hole. So as the mass decreases, the temperature rises. So black holes get hotter as they shrink. And as they get hotter, they radiate faster. So they shrink even faster. So this is called black hole evaporation. Now, this is an irreversible process, the initial state of the black hole. So let's say we have a black hole inside a box and we collect all the radiation that comes out of it. So the, at the end of the evaporation process, there's no black hole left. There's only radiation in a box. Now, this Hawking radiation is irreversible, which means that you cannot determine the initial state of the black hole from the final state, which is the radiation. You can have many initial states. Let's say a black hole swallowed 17 stars and became this big and then it radiated away. But from the radiation, we cannot tell that it saw swallowed 17 stars. It could have swallowed 27 smaller stars or three bigger stars and become a black hole of the same size, right? So many initial states of the black hole can give rise to this final state of radiation. So this Hawking radiation is an irreversible process, which is a huge problem in quantum physics because in quantum mechanics, processes are always time reversible. In principle, at least, which means that one initial state gives rise to one final state. There's a one to one correspondence between a final state and an initial state. And this inconsistency is called the black hole information paradox. Right. So uh, it is hoped or believed that quantum gravity, a theory of quantum gravity, a quantized theory of gravity will hopefully resolve this inconsistency between quantum mechanics and general relativity. And uh, perhaps solve the black hole information loss paradox. Uh, maybe it's possible that black holes don't evaporate completely and they leave behind plankons or plank mass remnants that are stable. And maybe the information stays encoded in these plank mass remnants, perhaps. That is one theory. Or maybe there's even a theory that this information that is lost, it is lost only in our universe, but it is perhaps preserved in another, another universe. It is preserved somewhere in the multiverse. So these are theories or speculations that may possibly resolve the black hole information paradox. As of today, we don't know what is the resolution. Maybe it is unsolvable. But that, in short, my friends, is the black hole information loss paradox.